Max in the House of Spies by Newberry honoree Adam Gidwitz is a thought-provoking and entertaining read, sure to teach you, but also excite you. It is hard to find historical fiction that fits both categories of thriller and learning opportunity, but Max in the House of Spies does just that. Here's a little sneak peek into Max's ever-changing and interesting world. The year is 1939. Max lives with his mom and dad in Berlin, Germany, under Nazi control. At least, he was supposed to be. With Adolf Hitler and his propaganda, his life is about to be changed forever. His dad's lovely watchmaking and fixing shop was stoned and destroyed, and with the fear of something terrible happening to Max as well, his parents send him off on a kinder transport to England. Max is heartbroken and vows to come back for his family. But on the ship to the UK, he discovers two fellows on his shoulders? Nope, he's not hallucinating, and yes, they are real. A debook named Stein and a kobold named Berg are now accompanying him, and they will be of great help later in the story. Those two characters are in folktales, both of Jewish and German descent. They were drawn to Max, and it leads the readers to believe that Max's journey is about to get a whole lot more fascinating. He was with a very wealthy family in the UK, and after pranks and lots of love given to him, he still has an undying desire to go home and save his family. He then learns that his uncle, Ewan, is a spy with the British Royal Navy. Max wants in, but he's unaware of the treacherous and frustrating yet reflective journey he's about to embark on. In a house of spies, what would you do? Well, in Max's case, he would become one. Read Max and the House of Spies to find out what happens next in this thriller and amazing read. What I loved in Adam Gibbons' latest book is just how real he gets. Lots of books following World War II, even though those Jewish protagonists, often get into discrimination from adults, especially those in Nazi-occupied lands, but Max gets bullied by kids in England. They first believe that he's a rotten Nazi spy because he's from Germany, but when he says he's Jewish, he faces even worse prejudice. This is in the UK, by the way, sworn enemies of the Nazis. So often we're led to believe that the Nazis and the Nazis only hated the Jews. But anti-Semitism has been around for thousands of years. Adam Gibbs does a brilliant job of describing it and building Max's character up from these altercations. Adam also includes comedic relief from Berg and Stein. They add so much character to Adam's writing and include a touch of Jewish mysticism not often seen in middle grade reading. There's so much to love and learn from in Adam's Max in the House of Spies. It's an incredible story that you must read. And it is, of course, a must read. It's a 10 out of 10 by far. Bye.